I'm just confused. Are we supposed to believe all women or not? Ashley Kavanaugh has stood by her husband, Brett Kavanaugh. She clearly does not believe any of the allegations that have been put forth about her husband because she's known him for 17 years and knows his character and knows that this is unlike anything that he has ever done. And it's not just Ashley Kavanaugh, it's also 65 women who signed a letter saying that uh, Brett Kavanaugh has always treated them with respect. Uh, they know him to be a man of integrity. However, the reaction that you see from feminists and uh, particularly uh, people on the left is that she cannot be believed, that uh, her opinion doesn't matter because she didn't know Brett Kavanaugh back then, so how could she possibly confirm his character when he was in college? Well, I'm just confused. Are we supposed to believe all women or not? So we're supposed to believe the women who actually don't know Brett Kavanaugh, like the random female Twitter users. We're supposed to believe them. We're supposed to believe these random celebrities that don't know Brett Kavanaugh, uh, that don't know Ashley Kavanaugh, who say that they believe uh, Dr. Ford. We're supposed to believe them. That's an act of heroism, but we're not supposed to believe Ashley Kavanaugh. Here's the thing, that's because the fine print in this believe all women mantra is that you believe all women that advance the leftist agenda. If it does not advance the leftist agenda, then you silence them, you condescend them. We've seen that with Bill Clinton's accusers, we've seen that with Keith Ellison's accusers. I haven't seen any protests recently for Keith Ellison and all of the abuse that we have very, very solid evidence for, and yet here we are making a ruckus about uncorroborated allegations against Brett Kavanaugh that are almost assuredly politically motivated.